before I start, I'd like to introduce some new um, additions to my very humble stuffy uh, stuffy collection. It's uh, this one and this one which I won at the fair. So I just finished the Rosie project and it was fantastic. Uh, so this is my review. I said I would release the review once I had finished it. And it is, I guess I am kind of behind in the whole summer reading thing because this is only the uh, second or third book which I had been planning to read out of six. But yeah, it's done. The Rosie project was on my to be read list for a very long time and I'm glad I finally got to read it because man, I've had a jewel in my bookshelf this whole time. I am not exaggerating when I say I have never read a chiclet book or like a book that is targeted mainly towards like uh women between the ages of 20 and 40 you know a book that's all romance and maybe some comedy and nothing else i've uh i can only think of one or two other books in that range that i've actually enjoyed but this is the one i've enjoyed the most um the narrative is probably the best part of this as i've heard from other people who read and reviewed the book. So I'm going to be rating it uh, according to character, plot, and then just overall enjoyment. So that's kind of the system I put down. So characters. Uh, Don Tillman, he's the main character. He is a, a researcher. Uh, I can't really pronounce the whole like specific name of what he does, but he's a researcher, a scientific researcher. And he's kind of, what it's revealed later is that he's on the autism spectrum. So uh, he's not huge on understanding social cues, he's not huge on empathy, although he does feel empathy later on, but uh, the whole point is that he's just not like other people, he's like, uh, he's like a Sheldon kind of character, you know? Like, it was unexpectedly charming, the way he narrated, narrated the story in, in the way that he does, and that's part of, actually most of where the comedy comes from is how Don Tillman sees the world and how he describes it. Um, so his arc is basically an arc of coming to accept himself and also uh, evolving as a person. Uh, I wouldn't want to spoil it. Should I spoil it? I'm not going to spoil it. But let's just say uh, in the beginning of the book and throughout his life, he's been following the schedule and he realizes at some point in the book that he has to change that about himself. and. I guess we all know that he eventually, you know, realizes he's in love with Rosie and that's also a really big part of his arc that he always thought uh, he wasn't capable of that kind of thing, he's too high and mighty for that kind of thing and it turned out, you know what, he's human and uh, yeah. I said in the summer reading list video that I was looking forward to the dynamic between the two main characters, Rosie and Don, and yeah, that really paid off, that was like one of my favorite parts of the whole book and as it should be the uh, dynamic between any main characters uh, are always important but especially in rom romance novels where they're getting to know each other and hopefully have their happily ever after that is really important so for characters for the arc for the narrative for how much I really love Don Tillman and how much like whenever he felt sad especially towards the end there's some really sad parts I just I was like oh my goodness I really hope this <laughs> works out for him so because of that I'm going to give characters a probably a 10 out of 10 actually or a 9 9.5 out of 10 because I can't think of anything wrong with the narrative or the characters that's my favorite part other books I can think of where the narrative like really sold it for me above all else would be the Dexter series and also a dog's purpose uh, which I both I love both of them mostly for their narrative all of the plot is also awesome now for the second part of the review which is plot and I really like how the author the author's name that I couldn't pronounce Graham Simpson I really that's my that's my last attempt okay uh, I like how he writes it I like how um, he kind of 
plays around with the first, second, and uh, third act structure, but then kind of, again, I can't really say much without spoiling it. So skip to this timestamp if you don't want spoilers about the plot. I kind of have to talk about the plot. So towards the end, now we're getting into the juicy stuff. Uh, basically the whole arc, the whole plot, the whole beginning of this relationship between Rosie and Dawn is that Rosie is looking for her father, her biological father, because her father, in quotation marks, Phil, um, she, he wasn't the greatest guy and she doesn't really, she knows she is her his stepdaughter not her uh, the real daughter um, and they so they, they end up testing like a bunch of people throughout the book and then you know testing them like the scientific way to see if Rosie and them are related and all these people are not related to Rosie there's this underlining mystery throughout the book of that of who's Rosie's father but then once the Will, Don, and Rosie end up together arc is over, we find out this whole time at the very last page, hey, you know, Don decided to test uh, the last minute stuff and uh, Phil's blood turned up positive. So Phil, the stepdad, was a dad all along. And if Rosie had believed that, Rosie and Don would, Don would never have met. And I, I thought that was pretty cool. But man, like that suspense when uh, Don first asked Rosie to marry him. Oh my goodness. Okay, spoilers over. So I give the plot a, an eight out of 10. There was a part at maybe like the middle of the book where it started getting a little bit slow, maybe because I'm not used to the genre, but it was a narrative that actually saved that for me. It, was, it didn't seem like such a big deal be just because I, I really wanted to see where it was gonna go with Don. Uh, and I seem to be dividing all the different character arcs, you know, like the the um, the Jean character arc, the Rosie character arc, and how she evolves, and then of course the main characters, and then the father, the father project, and eventually the Dawn Improvement project and the Rosie project. But yeah, that's um, I just really enjoy the plot, so I would highly recommend this book. And uh, apparently it's a trilogy, so I will actually be buying the next book if possible. So this would be the part in the review where I tell you um, what I didn't like about the book. But honestly, I can't think of much that I don't like without nitpicking. I guess if I had to think of a negative thing, it would be that I'm not the target age demographic. But that doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's good to take a break from YA books because I do read a lot of YA books. And yeah. Uh, I just, I fell in love with all the characters, even the side characters, and I love the narrative and the plot really kept me hooked the whole time I was reading it. So overall enjoyment, uh, I'm gonna like rate this uh, book a 9 out of 10. And I don't know, I just don't easily give away 10 out of 10s. Uh, this is definitely my second favorite romance novel out of the like four I've read. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to reading the rest of the trilogy. So uh, moving on in the in the summer reading list, it's kind of the end of summer now, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna start uh, the Money Pit Mystery, and I might release a review for this. And I'm also in the middle of The Case for Christ. So I kind of fall into the habit of like reading two books at once, uh, one nonfiction, one fiction. Uh, let me know if you do that too. But yeah, thank you for coming to the second episode of Bookish. Um, and I look forward to talking again about books.